Hello and welcome to another King of the Sky DCS racing show and we're going to continue with this tournament and we're going to look at group two. Now let's have a look at the course. Okay, first up we've got the F4 multi-role fighter, it was introduced in 1960 and its top speed at sea level is Mach 1.09 and it's extensively used in the Vietnam War. Next up in this group we've got the SU-34, which is a Russian twin-engine twin-seat strike fighter and the NATO reporting name is the fullback. Next we have the F-18 Hornet, it's a combat strike aircraft and it saw its first action in Libya and in the Gulf War and the Iraq War. Finally we've got the F-1178 Nighthawk Bomber, and it was designed to have stealth as its main asset. The unit cost for each one of these is reported to be over $111 million each and it was introduced in 1983 and retired in 2008. So let's get this race underway. We're coming up to the first turn. And they're all at 400 knots. over Sochi Adler Airport We've joined the F117A Nighthawk with its characteristic triangular silhouette and this is the SU-34 fullback See its large tail cone in the rear and its slightly wider appearance compared to its SU-27 and SU-33 brethren. And it looks like the F-18 Hornet's in the lead at the moment. And the stealth bomber bringing up the rear there. The F4 Phantom in second place. And we're coming up to the AAA on Urals now. And they've got to slow down down to 300 knots at this stage. And they're firing. They've gone for the fullback. And it's been hit. And it's been damaged. Well, we've got the F 18 in the first place. The F4 Phantom in second place, the SU-34 fullback in third place, and the Nighthawk in fourth place. Now we're coming up to the turn in the mountains. We've still got all four races in the air. The SU-34 is damaged, but it's in the lead now. Got the F-18 in second place and the F-4 in third place. We look from the F-4 Phantom. It's 
taking a wider line. Now we can see the smoke trail in the SU-34. Join the second place runner. We can see that smoke. It's really giving away the SU-34's position. I wonder if the Stinger launcher soldier will target this plane. Right, we're coming up to the next checkpoint. Soldier of the Stinger launch has already launched a missile. It has gone for the SU-34. It's been hit again. Let's have a look from a reverse angle. It's still going. It's got another target. It's gone for the stealth bomber. Oh, it's missed. Right, is he going to fire again? He has! He's gone for the night talk again. Is it going to hit? I can see flares being launched by somebody. Oh, the stinger just blew up and ran out of gas. If we join the SU-34, it looks like the F-18 has overtaken it, it's gone into first place and it's the plane that's launching the flares there. Whoa! A bit close for the camera. <laughs> right, we've got the SU-34 in second place now with the F-4 Phantom in third place and the F-117A Nighthawk in fourth place. Well... The SU-34 has taken the most damage here, it's still going, incredibly. It just goes to show it was designed to survive ground fire, being a, a ground attack craft. Okay, the F-18 goes into the final leg. So they can go full power now. The F-18 is going to break the sound barrier any second now. And the SU-34 here is still going. It's a valiant effort. I don't know if it's going to catch up with the leader. We'll have to see. This is the F-4. We've got the German variant with us today. And that's in third place. If we look behind, we can see the Nighthawk just in the distance there, next to that oil rig. Well, the F4's topped out at 630 knots. It's got a lot of ground to make up if it wants to be in first or second place. We join the Nighthawk, it's not going to break the sound barrier, unfortunately. Just topping out at just over 500 knots. We join the F-18. It's it's just going past Sochi now. You can see the finish line. It's going at 665 knots. This is the SU-34. It's going at just nearly 800 knots. But it's going to be too little, too late. And now the F-4 is going past Sochi. Well, the F-18 is going to take the win, I think. It's just got to hold on. There it goes. It takes the win. And now the SU-34 comes in in a close second place. 
Oh, what a race! Well, we we have our winner. It's the F18, and that goes through to the next round. The SU-34 finishes in second place, and now the F4 Phantoms coming in across the finish line. And we've got the night talk here. And that's coming in in fourth place. Here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Until next time, bye bye.